Tony. Tony. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, let's go out to Carolyn Gussoff. She's in Long Beach, which, is, which has been hit so hard. They've been looking for help, and it looks like help is on the ground, Carolyn. Yes, Maurice, uh, Long Beach has made some progress over the last day. We do see uh, some of the streets are beginning to be cleared and some uh, help has arrived. But this western section of Long Beach remains so hard hit. Right behind me, you see uh, the Army National Guard. They're giving out boxes of meals ready to eat. These are four meals. Uh, for a, a family of four, so it's essentially 16 meals and water, and folks are uh, coming here to pick them up, and they're coming here in tears. There are stories that are just unbelievable. There are homes in Long Beach that are buried, buried in sand. Uh, before I, I give you some of the, the people to speak to, just take a look at the video that we shot today on some of these streets, Louisiana, Michigan, Ohio. They're all the names of the states, and the streets are completely buried in sand, and it's about six feet high of sand, and the cars are gone, too. And, you know, you meet two different kinds of people, basically. Uh, mo most of the people are fighting back tears, but tell you that they will survive, they will. It's only possessions, and they'll rebuild. And then there are people that are just devastated and don't know what to do. Uh, we're here with this young lady. How are you holding up? Very bad. You lost your home. A lot of things. It's terrible. Like uh, 40 years ago, the beach, it was open, no fence. Now, years later, they put a fence, everything down. For my house, you can go through to the beach. Well, we've seen those streets that are just completely sand covered, and it, it is just a surreal sight. I'm here also with Caroline. Caroline, I know you feel that Long Beach is not getting the help it needs. You want volunteers. I personally am just an independent volunteer. I think Long Beach is receiving a lot of help, but there's a communication lapse somewhere because the power is out. So you have people who need information from the city that can't always get it and the city needs information from residents they can't always get it the city is working really hard to help residents the key pieces of information that people need to know are electrical panels need to be shut off because when the power eventually goes back on they don't they won't don't want surges and fires can't flush toilets people are flushing toilets because you are able to but you should not because the water will never go back on and your friend here is you're handing out papers with tears in your eyes it's heartbreaking. It really is. It's devastating. We've been coming here our whole lives, and just to see how it is now, it's it's horrible. We just hope that everyone's going to be rebuilt and be okay, and we just want to get the information out to as many people as possible so that everybody knows to do the right thing. All right, and if, the, if people, yes. I'm sorry. If people can help, I'm just a resident. I'm not working with any organization. My name is Caroline. If somebody can go, actually, you know what? Facebook has a page. Um, there's a Long Beach page that's official, but there's also an unofficial Long Beach, New York hurricane info page that has information people are looking for loved ones we're trying to get that's, people that's together very important i have to say thank you ladies i thank have to say so a lot of people have come up to me and looking for loved ones also looking for medicine uh, so it's a devastated community and it continues to be so but i have to say that i've seen some progress the sand in many of the main roads are being put into bulldozed into major mountains and we're still being told that the sewer and water system should be back on on monday sanitation has begun to be picked up they are making small baby steps, but there's a long way to go. That's it from Long Beach, Long Island. Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Thank you, okay, Carolyn. Caroline. So good to see those guys in uniform behind her. Mm -hmm. Relief.